Today, I want to share with you the top five energy drains to avoid to help keep your energy and improve your energy and vitality. Number one is not sleeping well or getting inconsistent in non-restorative sleep. So if you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night, or maybe you're staying up too late or having a hard time actually waking up in the morning, not sleeping well and not getting restorative seven to eight solid consistent hours of sleep is not only detrimental to your health, it's also detrimental to your mental health, your mental focus, your mental energy, and can kick off a cascade of health imbalances and can even cause stress on your body that then manifests as fatigue. So one of the best and most powerful ways to improve your sleep is to add magnesium to your everyday diet. I recommend our magnesium seven, our mag seven in the morning and in the evening. I like to bookmark the day with magnesium because magnesium is needed in over 600 body enzymatic functions. And when we take it in the morning, it helps support those functions throughout the day. When we take it at night, it helps support those functions of sleep and restoration and recalibration that we need in the evening. Now, the other thing that can help with sleep is melatonin. A lot of times as individuals age, or if they have hormonal imbalances, melatonin can be imbalanced, especially if you find you're on this imbalanced sleep cycle. So calibrating and optimizing your melatonin levels can be helpful for improving your sleep. Now, my second major energy drain is to put the phone down and stop searching social media or doing any type of gaming or any type of activity on your computer that's looking at an app like LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or X, the dopamine impact is significant when we are involving ourselves in social media. Now there's a time and place, but what we find is that now phones can report how much time you spend on the phone. And the average American is spending anywhere between four and eight hours a day on their phone in social media. That creates information overload. It creates FOMO, fear of missing out. It creates the comparisons. We've even seen cyberbullying, not just with young kids and teens, but we see that with adults. And it can create a situation where you are feeling overwhelmed and anxious about your world or your life, and it affects your self-esteem as well. So social media and the dopamine hit there is something I always recommend a social media detox. And this is really key where maybe it's not throughout the month, but maybe it's for four or five days throughout the month. Maybe it's a weekend where you go without social media or even aim for 30 days without and see how it goes. Um, but that is really, really a huge energy drain. It's a time drain. It's an energy drain. It's a mental drain and it's an emotional drain. So definitely be aware of your time on social media. My third major energy drain to avoid is stress. Now, stress, unfortunately, is a part of life. And sometimes stress is what we need, our body needs to overcome and help us heal. But long-term adrenal impact, the adrenal impact of stress, the hit to our body, our immune system, our sleep cycle, our emotional health, and just overall our immune function can be overwhelmed and restricted. We even see stress impacting our hormones. It impacts our metabolism. Stress really can be at the root of so many illness and disease patterns and symptoms that patients see. And some of the most powerful ways to address stress is to sleep well, to minimize your social media exposure, but also to reach for adaptogenic supplements like are seven mushrooms that has rhodiola and lion's mane and chaga and reishi and other, other particular mushrooms that can help offset the adrenal impact. I also recommend consuming Tulsi or holy basil tea. There's a lot of really great lines with holy basil and sometimes like ginger or turmeric or rose, but Tulsi is another stress adaptogen. That's more as more of an herbal um, that you can add in as a tea, but definitely reach for our seven mushrooms for managing and supporting stress. 
Now, number four, this is really important. One of the things that we see is that it, the combination of an unhealthy diet and a nutrient deficient lifestyle can be significant energy drains, not just in your energy output, but also from a cellular energy perspective. If you're reaching for things like caffeine and sugar as energy crutches to boost your energy, then you're in that kind of energy drain cycle. Similarly, if you're not consuming the right micronutrients, then you're not supporting your body with the right iron and mineral density like magnesium, as well as key nutrients like vitamin B and vitamin D and vitamin C. It's really important that you supplement with good, clean, just really powerful, substantial, comprehensive micronutrient powders. I really love to recommend our Organogreens because that becomes a foundational nutritional source where if you're missing several things, like there's gaps in your micro dense, micronutrient density, the organic greens can really help fill that gap. And if you do choose an unhealthy diet, let's say around the holiday season, or maybe you're going on a trip, make sure you're consuming organic greens during that because it functions is what I call the magic carpet. It kind of gets you through that period of time and make sure your body is getting the right nourishment and nutrition. Now, last and final, number five, I really think so many of us fall in this category and it is the biggest energy drain, which is dehydration. Being dehydrated means that you're going to have less energy. You're not going to have the right function with your red blood cells and the blood volume and the blood flow. It strains our organs and our glands. It dehydrates our skin and makes us look aged. And it also minimizes our brain function. Our brain is part water and part fat, and we need hydration water to help support our brain function and improve our energy. The key here is that you want to reach for hydration water that is mineral dense. Most of the time you're going to need to add some liquid ionic minerals to your water you know, whether it's reverse osmosis or you're distilling or you're going for tap or refrigerate you know, filtered water, we have water sources that are deficient and we need to rehydrate our body with mineral dense water. That's how nature delivers water. It's minerally balanced and it has a lot of key minerals and nutrients that we need. The water that comes out of our tap generally is deficient in so many of those. So it's really important also on the hydration front to start your day off with a 20 ounce glass of water. You can add the liquid minerals, a few drops of either apple cider vinegar or some lemon juice, but start your day off hydrating well, end your day hydrating well. And that's really key. You do wanna have a glass of water before you go to bed, have it by your nightstand, drink your water before you brush your teeth and make sure you're hydrating. Now, I know a lot of people will often abstain from drinking in the evening because they don't wanna get up at night to urinate, especially out of my men or, or individuals as they get older. That urination at night play, the, the role there, the your adrenal glands, your cortisol level plays a bigger function than the actual hydration. So if you are uh, targeting sleeping better and you're balancing your stress, you can forego the concern about waking up at night to urinate. So trust in your key or uh, organs of detoxification that, that won't wake you up at night to urinate, but it's really important that you hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Well, a dehydrated body is a deficient body. So make sure you're hydrating optimally. And if you feel parched or dehydrated or even thirsty, that's a sign that we need to keep you hydrated. And you've already gone past that threshold of optimal hydration. So those are five energy drains to avoid and some tips to address those. I hope that was helpful and I hope you have an awesome day.